Bereshit, Genesis 33. And Yaakov lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him four hundred men. And he divided at the children unto Leah, and unto Rachel, and unto the two handmaids. And he put at the handmaids and at their children foremost, and at Leah and her children after, and at Rachel and at Yosef hindermost. And he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And he lifted up at his eyes and saw at the women and at the children and said, Who are those with you? And he said, The children which Elohim has graciously given at your servant. Then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, and they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves. And after came Yosef near Rachel, rather near, and Rachel. And they bowed themselves, and he said, What do you mean by all this drove which I met? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that you have unto yourself. And Yaakov said, Nay, I pray you, if now I have found grace in your sight, then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen your face, as though I had seen the face of Elohim, and you were pleased with me. Take, I pray you, at my blessing that is brought to you, because Elohim has dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before you. And he said unto him, My Lord knows that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me. And if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. Let my Lord, I pray you, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that goes before me, and the children be able to endure, until I come unto my Lord, unto Seir. And Esau said, Let me now leave with you some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needs it? Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to Seir. And Yaakov journeyed to Kukoth and built him a house and made Kukoth for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Kukoth. And Yaakov came to Shalim, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padan Aram and pitched his tent before Et the city. And he bought Et a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent at the hand of the children of Chamor, Shechem's father, for a hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar and called it El Elohai, Rish Rael. Genesis 34.